I've been following hockey for a long time, but this has to be the weirdest goal I've ever seen. And it fittingly occurred on New Year's Eve between the Montreal Canadiens and the Tampa Bay Lightning. The Habs were up 1-0 midway through the second already, thanks to this nifty little steal and finish by Cole Caulfield. But with just over eight minutes to go in the second, Tampa's Darren Radish would take a seemingly harmless slap shot from the point with no one in front of the net, which would be easily swallowed up by Montreal's Sam Montembeau. And this is where the fun really starts, because everyone on the ice, except Montembeau and Habs defenseman Jonathan Kovacevic, assumed that this would be a regulation whistle as the goalie had control of the puck. As a result, everyone on Tampa starts to go to the bench for a line change. The camera even pans to the goalie as it usually would on a stoppage like that, so clearly this play even fooled the person running the main broadcast camera. But the whistle never actually went, and Montembeau alertly drops the puck to his defenseman who takes the puck, takes a couple of strides and absolutely buries this puck into the corner of the vacant Tampa net. It's just hilarious for me to look at all the reactions right after the puck goes in. It's just pure confusion. Even the commentators had no clue how to call this. Look how long this silence was after the Habs scored, while the commentary team tried to scramble to figure out what even happened. Tampa's going for him. Montreal plays the puck. It's in the back of the net. It I've never seen a goal call be eight seconds late. But to be fair, I was just as confused as well. When I was first watching this, I was sure that this goal would get called back that something must have just gone wrong with the ref's whistle or something. And Tampa would argue the same thing, that the whistle should have gone and that the goal shouldn't count. But when you look at the play again, I think the refs actually made the right call. After Montembeau swallows up Radish's point shot, there's no real threat from any Tampa player that's forcing him to take the whistle. You can even see the ref consider blowing the whistle, but then chooses to put the whistle away as he sees that the goalie had an opportunity to play the puck. And that's absolutely the right call in my opinion. You see goalies play the puck a lot more in overtime because possession is paramount in three on three. But even at five on five, if the goalie has time and space to play the puck, the ref is absolutely within his rights to avoid a stoppage in play and to allow it to continue. I know it looked like a sure whistle to almost everyone, but you just have to play to the whistle if you're the Tampa Bay Lightning. And full credit to Montembeau and Kovacevic, who had the presence of mind to not only see the opportunity to shoot at an empty net, but to also nail the shot. Imagine he just misses the net and the play just ends with an icing whistle? That would have been no fun. The crowd reaction to all of this was just hilarious too. It felt like the fans relentlessly booed the refs for the next hour at the very least. It was pretty impressive if I'm being honest. And that energy from the fans must have helped the Lightning because they would end up scoring four straight goals after that and would eventually go on to win the game 4-3. So all things considered, the goal really wasn't all that consequential considering the Habs didn't even end up winning the game. But could you imagine if something like this had happened in a meaningful game? Like in the playoffs or even the cup finals? I wouldn't want to be the ref to make the call in that situation, that's for sure. What did you think about this whole play? Do you think there should have been a whistle? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.